Spooning is a cuddling position where two people lie on their sides with one person's front pressed against the other's back. This position is often associated with intimacy and comfort. Here are some details. Positioning in spooning. One partner typically takes the role of the big spoon the person behind and the other is the little spoon the person in front. The big spoon wraps their arms around the little spoon, creating a sense of closeness. Physical contact. Spooning involves close physical contact, with bodies touching along the length of each other. This can provide a sense of warmth and security. Intimacy. Spooning can be a non-sexual or a prelude to sexual intimacy. It often occurs during sleep, but can also be a way for partners to express affection and closeness when awake. Comfort and relaxation. Many people find spooning to be comforting and relaxing. It can help reduce stress and promote feelings of safety and connection. Variations. There are variations of spooning depending on personal preferences and comfort levels. For example, the big spoon may wrap their arms around the little spoon in different ways or both partners may adjust their positioning for optimal comfort, positioning and alignment. In spooning, both partners lie on their sides, typically with their bodies aligned closely. The big spoon usually the partner behind embraces the little spoon the partner in front from behind. Bodies are often pressed together with the big spoon's chest against the little spoon's back. Physical contact. Spooning involves significant physical contact, including the arms, chest, and legs. The big spoon may wrap their arms around the little spoon, providing a feeling of security and intimacy. Legs can also intertwine comfortably adding to the closeness of the position. Intimacy and emotional connection. Spooning is an intimate position that fosters emotional closeness between partners. It can be a way to express affection even when not engaging in sexual activity. The physical closeness can release feel-good hormones like oxytocin promoting bonding and reducing stress. Variations, loose spooning. Partners maintain the basic spooning position, but with less tight contact, offering comfort without intense closeness. Chest to back, a variation where both partners lie on their sides, but without full body contact. The big spoon's chest rests against the little spoon's back, Leg entwining. Partners can intertwine their legs for added closeness and comfort. Known sexual and sexual contexts. Spooning is not inherently sexual, but can lead to sexual intimacy if both partners desire. It's important for partners to communicate their comfort levels and intentions clearly. Remember, the key to any physical intimacy is mutual consent and respect. Partners should always communicate openly about their preferences and boundaries. Spooning is just one of many ways couples can connect and share closeness in a relationship. If you have further questions or want more information, feel free to ask.